and in a moment to the left hand side a brief glimpse uh, into the next to the second river of our city of Zurich crossing our city this is the Limat river Limat river starts at the lake of Zurich a la izquierda una breve muy breve vista hacia el segundo río que pasa small country around 8.55 million a little more a little bit more than two millions of them are guests in our country so most important communities coming from our neighbors uh, in the south Italy and now to the left <laughs> El terreno se puede utilizar solamente de abril a octubre y para que se hagan una idea tenemos un promedio de solamente 20 animales por granja. Approximately 3% of all the jobs in uh, Switzerland located in the agriculture this uh, 3% uh, produce 40-40% of the local food. 60% we have to import from all over the world. It's uh, maybe one of the reasons uh, food and very, very deep lake, very cold water and uh, beautiful colors. Colors were changing during the day according to the daylight. On the, on the other side of the lake, the village of Brienz uh, gave the name to this lake. A la derecha, próximo lago, el lago de Brienz, un lago muy profundo, con aguas muy frías, pero que va cambiando el color del agua durante el día según como cae la luz. En la otra orilla se ve el pueblecito de Brienz que dio el nombre al lago. There's another big lake here in the peninsula of the land, it's called the Lake of Thun and uh, both lakes are connected by a channel and uh, the city located between the two lakes, Interlaken or Intralagos, the city between the lakes. It's, uh,
break if you want to leave uh, something or okay, because I belong in the bus of course you can do it and it's on your own responsibility of course si durante la parada quieren dejar alguna de sus uh, pertenencias en el autobús naturalmente lo pueden hacer pero bajo su propia responsabilidad <coughs> 